Gemini, hello, how are you, beautiful soul? My name is Alicia, welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from Spirit, particularly in the niche of business. Absolutely a business genius. His information is going to be down below. But without further ado, Gemini, let's dive right in and see what messages Spirit has for you today. Let's get one shuffle here and let's move forward. All right, we have six of wands, loving that. Nine of swords. Swords, five of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. So the universe is guiding you towards an abundant uh, reality here, okay? So there's going to be a new beginning. There's going to be a new project that's going to present itself, a new career, maybe a new idea, something that you can do, get your hands on, you know, DIY maybe, but again, something in the form of, 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 of getting your hands in it okay so again maybe this is again starting a project a new uh, career of some sort maybe enhancing your career of some kind but just know that you are being guided towards this new opportunity and it is going to be one that's going to bring you a lot of success and one that you're going to be ready for so this experience that you're gaining right now the the situation that you're in right now is going to be applied in this new or be applicable in this new beginning so it's really exciting time for you moving forward but just know right now on your journey you're going to face a lot of opportunity to heal those subconscious fears of yours, okay? It's really important to know that whenever we are feeling down or we're feeling like we have, a, 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 we're not capable of, of achieving what we want to achieve. And again, we're, we're really battling ourselves here with these fears, sleepless nights, a lot of anxiety, a lot of overthinking. Just know that a lot of the times this is based upon uh, uh, programs that were instilled in our early infancy and uh, young childhood age. So the more that we can be aware of why we may be reacting to a certain situation and think back, hmm, how did my parents treat me in these scenarios? How did their parents treat them? Uh, when I reacted like this, what response did I get? You know, whenever we have an awareness of where our programs and our shadows come from, it makes it much easier to be able to deal with them because we've, we associate a disconnection because that's not who you really are. You are not your fears. You've just had programs that are in our subconscious, right? That are coming forward whenever we experience situations that were similar to the same experiences that we had when we were infants, right? And again, it's in a, on a subconscious level. So something may have happened when you're an infant and then going through the same experience, same energy today in your adult life is going to yield the same type of reactionary response. So be mindful of that now, Gemini, for what that may be for you, because it's going to be a really op good opportunity for healing. Okay. Just know that if there is any type of conflict or drama that's currently happening in your life, that's when you want to really self-reflect because our, the way, what we project into the world is always projected back to us. So if we find that people aren't treating us with the, with the kindness that we would expect them to, or if we feel like we're attracting a lot of complaining or drama to us, that's when we want to take a look and be mindful about how we've been acting and about the way we've been looking at the world. If we've been complaining about things or if we've been living our lives maybe through the lens of our ego or perhaps falling into a form of complacency, not taking care of ourselves, this will reflect in our in our uh, lives, lives around us, which again is just a, a way of the universe being able to communicate with us. So again, not to take it personally, just to be more aware of, oh, I see. So this is not me that's getting the response it's my vibration that's getting the response you see so it's 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 not you beautiful soul ever okay so now is a profound time where you really again want to be listening to where your heart's guiding you and i feel like gemini you may have been slightly letting the mind of yours that beautiful mind of yours run the show now whenever we let our minds run the show what happens is that we are letting our programs and filters you know from the past make decisions for us. Now, whenever this happens, we tend to think our way through things or seek out uh, the outcome we desire based upon a fear. Maybe this is guilt, maybe this is shame, fear in there, you know what I mean? But just know that when this happens and when we find ourselves in this environment, we want to make sure that we, we, we remind ourselves that it's our heart that needs to lead the show and then our mind takes action. So our heart is the 
is the commander, our heart is the captain, and our mind is the first mate, right? So we, if we can remind ourselves that, you know, I don't need to think my way in through anything. I don't need to determine what needs to happen. I don't need to know the, the how it's gonna happen. All I need to know is, is my heart feeling good about this? Is my heart leading the way here? Does my heart spark up? Am I feeling good about this? If it is, perfect. That's the right answer. You know what I mean? But it really relieves the pressure than thinking that we have to find our way. We have to seek out the answers. You know what I mean? Because the universe is saying like, you have everything that you're waiting for is here for you, right? Because again, the time is not linear, it's stacked. And so what that really means is that if you're sitting here and you know, you think that you need to go through all this learning and education to get to where you want to go or, or, or time and, 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 and all this work, say you got to work, right? Say you want more money, right? Say you got to work all these hours, all these days. And then here's when you get your big payout. It doesn't work like that. If you sit here, right, and, and all you do is focus on how happy you are and how much joy you're having and how much fulfillment you're having by making your spirit light up by things that bring you happiness, then what's gonna happen is you're gonna start glowing. And then abundance from all different types, from all over the dimensions are gonna attract to you. So it's gonna come in the form of unexpected opportunity. You see what I mean? Opportunities are endless. And how it's almost like a game of how how long and how high can I keep my vibration up for? How long can I be in that happy state, right? And 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 that's ultimately what it is. How long can I stay grounded? How long can I stay in alignment with my center? And it's okay if you bounce back out because as long as you have impl a spiritual practice implemented that you can do, you'll always ground yourself and center yourself, right? And the longer you can do it, I'm letting you know, that's when all of this abundance is gonna just come and flow right to you. You don't have to go out and seek it. And I see that you have a lot of opportunities that are right here in your life here for you, Gemini, right waiting. I mean, my goodness, we got the lover's card and we have the ace of pentacles. Soulmate, uh, opportunity, abundance. It's right here for you. This is not a facade. This is exactly how it goes. But the thing is, in order for you to capitalize on this, you gotta be having a good time. You gotta be getting out there, having a sense of adventure, not allowing your programs to keep you in the same place, not allowing your habits that you're used to to keep you in the same place. Develop new habits, create new behaviors, learn new things, learn new skills, switch up your schedule, you know, try new things, things you've never done before. And ultimately just know that the, the, Wow, universe always validates that literally the possibilities are endless for you here. All you have to do is just think about raising your standards. Like for instance, whatever outcome you would like to have, okay, set that outcome in your mind and then tell yourself, I could do better. I can do better. Those are the magic words, okay? Because when we do that, we detach from the outcome that we thought we wanted, and it's basically letting it go. We're letting the universe know, I can do better. You know what? I'm gonna wait until the until that better comes around. I'm not gonna attach to it, right? And when that happens, things flow into our life instantly. But universe is saying, raise your possibility, raise your standards here, Gemini. Don't cap yourself. Don't cap yourself based upon what your perspectives or programs may be. The universe is absolutely endless. Again, all you have to focus on is how high your vibration is. This comes from fulfillment. This comes from um, having fun. This comes from trying new things, learning new skills, jump, breaking free of the subconscious fear uh, energy that you may find yourself in and, and try something new. Do something new with yourself. You know what I mean? That's all it takes. All you gotta do is rip that band-aid and then the life is yours. And right now I can see that it is time for you to claim a little bit of your own uh, energy, okay? So maybe uh, feeling a little bit codependent, maybe feeling a little bit stuck. And this happens for us empaths if we get stuck in a if we get stuck doing the same thing day in and day out, it's hard for us to try a new thing. But again, if you follow your spirit and if you follow your heart and you trust your heart is always guiding you, then you're always gonna be guided. And if you don't think about it and if you just let your heart tell your mind what to do and then your mind capitalizes on it without second guessing it, oof, life gets really, really good. Universe is saying right now, time for you to claim your independence. Maybe break free around the social groups that you're used to hanging out with, right? Sometimes when we can get ourselves, um, you know, hanging around the same people that might not have the best influence on us, then we are not changing or we're not evolving out of the place that we're currently at. And so universe is also saying with mouse spirit, a lot of the times it doesn't take much. It just takes a little bit of energy towards something. For instance, 
get a new book and read one page. Tell yourself, I'm gonna read one page. I'm gonna really learn what this page is, but I'm gonna read one page. And then after that, you know what? I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna maybe wake up a little bit earlier, go to bed a little bit uh, you know, uh, later, uh, earlier. You know, maybe I'm going to buy a journal and start journaling. I'm gonna try automatic writing. You know, I'm gonna um, meditate for five minutes. You know, just something, try something. I promise you, when you involve yourself in a spiritual practice and you get in alignment with your higher self and it's intentional, the universe will reward you. The universe will reward you. And remember, whenever we're in a place of, of battling our fears and battling a sense of stagnancy, there's always a program in there somewhere. And a lot of the times, if we just really reflect back on how our parents treated us and how their parents treated them, then we are able to see, ah, I see the pattern here. And then we're able to dissociate from it. And then we're able to move forward with our lives, getting better results. All right, Gemini, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Gem. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.